Afternoon once again punters and welcome to another edition of the post Big Ray Selection Day show. Now earlier of course uh, Snoopy Riley has uh, submitted some videos um, showing what's been happening in the hours after the race has finished. Uh, we give it up to Snoopy, he's uh, been incredibly busy out and about with his camera trying to get uh, drill down really into finding out what where are we after the race there's a bit of bit of confusion obviously and he's trying to find out right what's going on behind the scenes or in this case obviously what's going on under those uh, soap bubbles which is in of course the the bubble saucepan which we've seen earlier of course when the brown beastie uh, paid a visit to the fella who seems to be spending all his time at the moment in that bubble saucepan and um, somewhat undercover you might say well, let's see what's happening here. Well, here we have the Prancer. Now, that's interesting. It looks to me like the Prancer is actually paying a visit to the bubble saucepan. Now, let's see. He's gone up. And now he's asking a question. Is anybody in there? Is anybody down there? This is Prancer here. I want to have a chat. Right, let's see now what happens. Let's have a look and see. Well, look at that. Jeez, he's, a, he's having a bit of a trouble getting up out there. Oh, there, there he is. Right, okay, unicorn, he's still there. And he's he's just saying, okay, what is it, Prancer? What are you, what, what are you coming to me for now? You know, what, what's what's up? What can I do you with? And the old Prancer's saying, well, look here, uh, unicorn. You know, I got, the, I got the moral majority here. You know, I got the, sorry, the, the mandate. He's, that's basically what he's saying. You know, I, I got more... I got more bums on seats, that's the bottom line here, so what do you say, you know, to give me the keys to power, we, may, we do a little deal, what would you say to that now? Well, you know, the unicorn's thinking, well, well what do you got to say, you know, what, what is it that you, you could offer me? Prancer says, I've just got just the thing for you, and he, he, he goes here, and now what's, what's, what's going what's gonna to happen? Now here, he's presenting a duck, and he says to him, the old unicorn, look there unicorn, I give you a duck for your bubble saucepan. Hey, what do you say? Well, I couldn't be fairer. Well, quite frankly, unicorn, he just looks at him with one evil eye and he just says, you can shove your duck right off. You know what I want and it's not a duck for my bubble saucepan. Fair enough, it says the old prancer, fair enough, you know, we've got to start from our bargaining position somewhere. So he's taking the duck out of the equation. There he goes, he moved the duck. He thought, well, right, let's see now. He thought, uh, well, what is it you're looking for? Unicorn, he's saying, you know exactly what I want. I want big change, big change. Maybe we could strike a deal if you offer big change. Nah, well, you know, I mean, the, the fella here, the prancer, he's getting a bit of a, bit of a tiz here, you might say. And I, he says, look, I'll be back in a minute. And he, and he drifts off again out, out of the picture. Uh, we're not sure, you, you know, what, what, what's going on here in terms of strategy that the Prancer is uh, approaching here. Clearly, Brown Beastie felt it was better to go to the old uh, Greasy Spoon and have breakfast. But what the blazes? What on earth is that? That's a Prancer and he's a cow. Well, here, says Prancer to Unicorn, I'll give you a cow. Look at that. It's as good a fat of cow as you'll see anywhere in the country. What do you say? Come on. Well, you know, the unicorn just says, beat it. Take the cow with you. I'm after bigger fish. Well, he doesn't even have to take the cow, because a cow takes great insult to being, you know, even compared to a fish, and the cow's galloped off. He's not happy. He's not happy. You know what I want? Bring it on and we could maybe do a deal, says the unicorn. Well, let's see what happens here now. Now, look at this. What in the name of God is that? Listen, Prancer. That, I don't, what, is, what are you saying, says Unicorn? What, is, what are you on about Prancer? What is this? So the Prancer, he's literally begging. Look, Unicorn, he's saying. Look, ever since I was a teacher, I wanted to be Prime Minister. Do you understand that? Look, I'll give you the world. Look at it. I'll give you it all. Just give me the keys to power. Come on now, man. Come on. There. You can have the whole bloody world. Unicorn, though, he's having none of it. And what does he do? He just slips back into invisibility under the soap suds. <laughs> 